Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play the Pandora Directive. Well, last time you remember, we traversed this ancient Mayan temple filled with all manner of booby trap, and then I had to traverse it again, and then traverse it a third time, just because my PI census told me I would need this small stone cup. So now let us see why we needed it. Drawings in this chamber show people being crushed and impaled by large descending spikes. Sort of like those spikes on the ceiling. Yeah, it's probably just a coincidence. And, uh, yeah, those, those are some spikes. Those spikes look nasty. If I'm not careful, those things could tenderize me in a hurry. Okay, now the trick on this room is that you'll note that we have this panel right here. I'm just guessing here, but it looks like I'll need to rotate these symbols in a certain sequence. Colored dots must be the key. And yes, uh, this is what corresponds to everything in the doors that we saw earlier, so... This is a very tricky sequence and you don't get much time to try it, so I wrote down what it is from before. So I need to click the snake three times. Need uh oh. Either I'm going through an unprecedented growth spurt, or the ceiling is dropping. I'd better do something, and quick. And you click the hatchet once, click the wasp twice, click the dagger three times, and then click the pentagon once. I move the last symbol on the wall, and suddenly, the floor drops out from under me. Literally, in this case. Did ancient astronauts build water slides in their pyramids? Read the book. Say the same thing. Well, have I kept you waiting long? Oh no, I just got here. How? Regan, what the hell? Seriously, how the hell did she get in I, here? I guess I was supposed to be sitting back in my hotel room like a good little girl, right? Well, I'm sorry, it's just not in my nature to sit around and let someone else make my decisions for me. I mean, I wasn't gonna let you and those two doddering old fools ruin everything I ever worked for. Here we are, sitting on the greatest discovery in the history of the world, and they say, get rid of it. Get rid of it? Great idea. I mean, who cares how much it's worth? Who cares how great the technology is? Not just to us, but to everyone. Didn't you hear what Fitzpatrick and Webb were saying? We destroy ourselves with this. Well, maybe we are ready. I mean, why don't we give ourselves the benefit of the doubt? In the hands of someone like my father, this new technology could, it could open doors we never even imagined. The problem is, these things don't end up in the hands of people like your father. They never do. <sighs> Maybe we should try and find a way out of here, huh? No, 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 no. First, you're going to explain to me how the hell you got here. I mean, I had to do all this stuff with the puzzles and the daggers and moving things around just to get to this point. How did you get here? And she's just going to stand there looking around. And we do at least get an uh, angle of her doing this from there. And if we move to the other side... Yeah, a little pixely, but give them credit. They did at least uh, do the full range of motions for every angle you might want to look at Tanya Roberts from. These pedestals aren't set on the floor, but they seem to be sunken into the floor. Okay. I lost my backpack on the way down here. Looks like Regan held on to hers, though. Yeah, I lost my backpack, and yet I've still got the stone cup, the hemp cord, the lantern fuel, jackknife, and everything else. Tex has got some very deep pockets on his indie jacket. I guess that one's a plus four jacket of holding, too. Well, surely she won't object to us taking her backpack. Rooting around in her stuff. And finding rope. 
This rope isn't long enough to reach the windows. And in case you're wondering what windows, well... This must be the way we got in here. But even if we could reach it, the tunnel's too steep to climb back through. And you'll note... The ceiling's got to be at least 80 feet high. And it resembles a night sky with a big black hole in the middle. Some of these figures look like they're ascending to heaven. There must be details in these drawings that can help me figure something out. The statue seems to be reaching toward the light from above. Seems to be about the only way out of here. Most of the figures painted on the wall are in the same position as the statue. So yeah, we can see the four people standing on the columns. Unfortunately, we don't have four people. So we're going to have to get clever. We're in big trouble. So have you got any ideas? Not at the moment. I was just looking at those holes at the top of the chamber, but even if we could reach them, they're way too small for us to get through. Let's keep looking. Well, thankfully, the solution is in Regan's backpack. We're going to uh, make like some American soldiers liberating Iraq and drag down that statue. It's, it's too heavy for me to do by myself. I could use a little help here. Move aside, honey. I'll move it. Please, over here. Would you just nah. please in the thing in the... Well, now we have a knocked down statue, and, uh... Any ideas? No, sorry. <sighs> You're even more useless than Stiletto, Regan. Yeah, the statue's broken into large fragments, but they're still too heavy to lift. Well... That fragment is. And the fragment from the statue has a good sized crack in it. If I could break this thing into two pieces, they'd be small enough so I could lift them. So, if only we had some way of blowing it up. Like, for instance, if we just happen to have some explosive that could be put into a nice little stone container. And we just happen to have some nice little flammable fuel. And something that could be used as a quick fuse. And then if we had something capable of setting the whole shebang on fire. Now thankfully we do not need to run for cover here. There's no way I can lift this. This fragment looks just small enough for me to pick it up. All right. So we'll take that and put that one there. And take that one and put that one there. After you. Come on! Get! Uh. Get! 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 Get
poopy. Well, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die with my face buried in Tanya Roberts' butt. Well, it looked like he was going face first in her butt earlier. Hey, look at those herbs back there! We found the alien's pot farm! Just like a, like a, like a huge Christmas present just waiting to be opened. I guess I should call Fitzpatrick and tell him we found it. Don't call him. Let's, let's just keep this between ourselves, just between you and me. That isn't how it works, Regan. But it can. We can have everything we ever wanted. I know people, we just have to tell them where the ship is, they'll give us everything we ever wanted. We can spend the rest of our lives together. That isn't right, Regan. What have you got to go back to? I mean, look at your life. It's a dead end and you know it. You can play it safe, spend the rest of your life with that little mutant girlfriend of yours struggling and never taking a chance. How do you know about Chelsea? What does it matter? You can have it all. Wealth. Freedom. Me. Look, my life may not seem like much to you. And my mutant girlfriend's not the most glamorous woman in the world. But I happen to feel a certain obligation to do what's right and not just what serves my best interests. What a lovely little speech. Now be a good little private eye and hand me that communicator. Or would you prefer that I blast a hole in you and take it myself? Okay, seriously, how did you get here? Thank you. Well, I thought you'd be more surprised to see me. Oh, I figured the NSA would be around here. I'm just wondering why I didn't smell you first. <laughs> this isn't official business. No, no. It's a purely personal matter between Miss Madsen and myself. I offered you a piece of the action, Tex. You got no one to blame but yourself. So you and Cross have been working together since the beginning? <laughs> it's disillusioning, isn't it? <laughs> well, it might make you feel better to know that uh, she's taken a liking to you. I mean, I wanted to do away with you right away. And uh, she convinced me that she could bring you over to our side. Uh, you look like you're a stronger man than I am. Yeah, well, I guess we're just not cut from the same. I found out about Malloy and the NSA. Then I met Miss Madsen uh, when I was looking for her father. Can you imagine someone selling out her own father? I didn't sell him out. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> At first, we didn't have much luck tracking down Malloy's boxes, but then you came along. And I don't know whether it was luck or whether you're that good. Luck. But anyway, I decided to let you do the work. It was a good decision, don't you think? I mean, I mean, here we are at the appointed place and time. You're not gonna get away with it, Cross. Oh no? <laughs> I don't see anybody here who's gonna stop me. <laughs> you know, when I first saw you, I wanted to blow your brains out. Not because I didn't like you. You're a very resourceful fellow. No, I wanted to kill you because I enjoy killing people. I find it very satisfying. 
Yeah, well, I figured the way you played me for a sucker, you ought to be the one that pulls the trigger. You took good for your own good. Enough talk! Say goodbye, Murphy. Goodbye, Murphy. Wait! Don't shoot. Spare him, and I will lead you to that which you seek. It's a trick. All right, old man. I won't kill him. Not yet, anyway. And again, how did he get here ahead of us? So Tex Murphy leapt into the Quantum Leap Accelerator and vanished. I might ask the same question to you. That will be disclosed. Would you step off the beam, please? This is an historical moment. We are standing in the midst of history, those who arrived with the ship, if not our fathers, the fathers of our race, were at least the guardians and guides of our ancestors. This is a holy place. Enough of this fanfare. What's in there? That is the generator chamber, and the light you see is coming from the main power cell. <laughs> well, let's take a look at that, shall we? Your option. what you've done with the place. He is shiny. Yes, reach out and touch the power cell. Brilliant idea, Regan. Get this ship off the Earth. Off this planet as soon as possible. 
Why? Explosives! Anti-hydrogen pods set to go off in a bare few minutes. We've got to get this ship as far as possible from the planet Earth in that little time. You know how to fly? I know! I know! And you know it even works. I know how to fly! My, my, my father, a long time ago, Listen to me now, follow me, this is important. My mother's an American woman in Nebraska, but my father's DNA is in me. I know how to fly this ship. Now, you must find the black sun symbol and press it. Come on, find, find black sun. Black sun button, press it. Then, north, circle, red, north, circle, red, east, east, cross. Was it Fitzpatrick said? North Circle Red. Now what? Okay, well, not a lot of time to waste on this one. But there is a pattern in what he said. So we hit the black circle in the middle. And then north. Then circle. Then red. And then the rest of the directions are direction, east. Then, let's see, cross. So across from a circle. And then orange is the next color, and we can see it lights up there. So then we have to hit south, and then the triangle and yellow, and then finally the one direction we haven't done yet, west, the diamond across from a triangle, and green. You shouldn't have taken your eyes off. Yeah, well, where were you? If you'll open up, I'll be very nice to you. Still better than Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. All right, well, here we come. Day 10. Just desserts. Not long after, Elijah Witch shows up. As we fly home, I fill him in on what happened. He's kind enough to write me a check to cover my expenses, and then some. Chelsea's back in town, and we arrange to meet at the Bruin Stoop for a drink. The experience with Regan has taught me a few things. I've decided the world's too ugly a place to live in alone. Maybe I am ready to try this love thing with Chelsea. Man, that trip to Venus did you a world of good. I just need some time to renew myself. Listen. 
Before we go very much further, I want to tell you that I've been a world-class schmuck. Sometimes I wouldn't know a good thing if it came right up and punched me in the face. Tex. Hold on, because I've been practicing the speech and I, I don't want to screw it up. While you were away, I was tempted by another woman. Okay, I know it's hard to believe. I turned her down. But everything that's happened since you left has made me look at things in a different way. And I'm thinking maybe now I'm ready to settle down and have a real life. I'm just hoping you're still willing to give me a shot. Tex, sweetheart. You know, while I was down in Phoenix, I really uh... had a lot of time to think. And, well, I came to the conclusion that I may have gotten a little ahead of myself. You know, turning 30 could have caused me to be just a little rash. No, Chelsea, I don't think you're the one who was rash. I think it was me, a big red scratchy one. No, it's not you, Tex. It's, it's me. It's, well, I'd always be asking too much, like, like wanting you to be totally reliable. I value our friendship, and oh, I don't want anything to spoil it. So just like that, she pulls out the dagger of rejection, buries it into my chest, rips out my heart, and feeds it to the cat. It's not that bad. Come on. Anyway. That's why I signed up for the Hollow Dating Service. No hassles and no commitments. Hollow Dating. I never heard of it. Well, it just started up, and it is the perfect solution. That's a great outfit, Chelsea. What color is it? Scarlet? It's one of my favorites. It's my date. Frankly, my dear, we better get a move on it. The haagen is melting. Okay, so he's handsome, but he's not real. <laughs> so what is? Honey, who is that misfit? Now, well, Chelsea could be right. Maybe I should just call this holiday place. I cannot believe that I'm gonna do this. Holiday service? How can I help you, kid? Say, aren't you? Sure am, kid. This must be your first call. Who can I set you up with? Oh, man, in that case. You know, I've always had a hankering for Jane Mansfield. Of course, Anna Nicole Smith, she's great too. I like your style, kid. And this is your lucky day. Since it's Tuesday, we have the two for one special. When should I send them over? <laughs> Give me a second to get ready. Uh, how about 15 minutes? 15 minutes? They're on the way. You know, this could be the beginning of a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how many times a day I hear that line? Well, maybe it's not a perfect world. There'll be other cases, and there may even be a real woman waiting for me somewhere down the road. But until then, there are worse ways to spend time than playing strip part cheesy with Jane and Anna Nicole. Sure, they're not real. But like Chelsea said, what is? So yeah, final score, 328, or 3288 out of 4,000. Congratulations, you have completed your trip down Lombard Street. You didn't end up winning the love and affection of either Chelsea or Regan, but by resisting the lure of easy money, you somehow managed to help save the world. Now you may want to follow one of the other two paths through the story, both of which contain new scenes and conversations. To find Mission Street, you'll need to take the high road, be kind and thoughtful, and do the right thing, in which case you might help save the world and win Chelsea's heart. Mission Street leads to two possible endings. To find the Boulevard of Broken Dreams, you'll have to make antagonistic and selfish choices. This path, much darker than the others, will cast you in the role of the classically cynical and world worried detective who burns his bridges and is on no one's side but his own. The Boulevard of Broken Dream leads to four possible endings. And, yeah. 
So that is the canon ending of the game. Uh, if you read the <clears throat> Pandora Directive novelization, uh, this is how it ends with, you know, text back where he started. You know, the bills are paid for a little while longer, but still single, still unattached, Chelsea still there. And he is calling up uh, the holiday dating service as usual. And uh, yeah, bit of a product of its time that uh, Texas dream women are Jane Mansfield and Anna Nicole Smith, who if you're not familiar with Anna Nicole Smith or Jane Mansfield, uh, Jane Mansfield is a classic Hollywood bombshell of the same era of you know, the film noir detective that Tex is uh, obviously a big fan of. And Anna Nicole Smith was a Playboy playmate, uh, most famous for having acted in Naked Gun 33 and a third, if you can call that acting, and for having married a much, much, much older man who just happened to be quite, quite wealthy, and then dying tragically at a young age. So, yeah, I will eventually get around to playing through this game again and trying to show you all the bad endings and the good endings. But for now, uh, we'll go ahead and sign off, and I'm going to let us uh, play through the closing credits because they got a very good uh, blues musician to do some original music for this game. And if you're thinking, whoa, why didn't I hear any of that music? It's because, unfortunately, you only get to hear his music during the Boulevard of Broken Dreams path. Except during the closing credits. So now I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Close out here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you'll join me again for the next video set. And we will close this out with the closing credits and some pretty damn good blues music. So thank you again, and I'll see you next time. The office lights are growing dim The candles, they don't help The only thing that passes through my grin Is pain I've never felt Oh, 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 oh The street outside is deadly dark If you listen, you can hear A million radiant thoughts And people disappear That dark is light Reason seems to lose its will to fight These lonely blues I get in flight So I'll drink myself asleep another night A mystery I looked into the fire I'm just the son of some bad history can't get no higher higher no higher whoa, whoa, whoa. I got one last chance to get it right The connection Is fading You can bet your life I won't give up the fight Because my sanity Ain't worth trading It ain't worth trading When day is night I always seem to lose The things 
words I seem to choose that makes it right So I'll close my eyes and sleep with all my might So I'll close my eyes and sleep with all my might And maybe when I wake it'll be all right 